Hi, in this video we are going to see how to use VMware Cloud Director to manage users, groups and roles in an organization. In an enterprise, different individuals have different roles and rights with respect to access of resources. This makes managing a role-based access crucial. VMware Cloud Director supports various levels of role-based authorizations. These roles consist of a set of rights which controls the access of the resources. VMware Cloud Director also supports various modes of authentication for its tenant users. An identity provider integration can be done via Security Assertion Markup Language Protocol or OpenID Connect Protocol. A service provider can control which rights are available for an organization. Besides that, a service provider can publish global tenant roles that cannot be modified. Let's see how an organization administrator can manage different users, groups and roles in an organization. After logging into your organization, click on Administration tab. On your left hand side, you can see users, groups and roles under Access Control section. If you want to see details of a user, click on its username. You can see the general settings and the quota settings. By clicking on the context button against the username, you get various options like enable, disable, unlock or delete a user. In VMware Cloud Director, the usage of local users is being deprecated. Tenant organizations are encouraged to integrate a third-party identity provider with VMware Cloud Director to provide access to users for more secure login. The creation of Identity Provider Federation is covered in a different demonstration. To create a local user, click on New. Provide the username and password. It is important to assign a role to a user as it defines its rights in the organization. Go back to all users. Let's see how to import a new user. Click on import users to import a user from an identity provider. You need to make sure that the federation with identity provider is already configured. Since a SAML federation is configured, you can see SAML in front of source label. Enter name of the user and assign a VAP user role. Let's log in as the user which we have just created. Since our user has a role of vApp user, it can use the vApp but not create one. Let's try to create a vApp. The next button is disabled. Let's log in as organization administrator. In VMware Cloud Director, user groups can only be imported from an identity provider. They cannot be created locally. Let's see how to import a group. Click on Import Groups. Enter the name of the group as identified by Identity Provider. Assign a role. All members of this group will be automatically assigned to this role. Each member user of this group will get automatically imported at the time of first successful login. Let's see global roles that are published by the service provider for this organization. A catalog author role allows a user to create and publish new catalogs. A console access only role allows a user to view virtual machine's state and properties and use guest operating system. A defer to identity provider role means the role is determined by the identity provider at the time of user login. An organization administrator role provides administration rights to a user. A VAP author role allows a user to use catalogs and create VAP. A VAP user role allows a user to only use VAPs created by others. An organization administrator can create customized roles as well. To add a new role, click on New. This new role will be available only in this organization. There are numerous rights from which specific rights can be chosen to customize a role. Let's create an auditor role. This role will allow the user to only view all the resources and configurations. To configure that, check view box on the top panel. Let's assign this role to a user. Select a user and click on edit. 
change the role of the user to the new read only auditor role let's log in as this auditor you can see that the edit or create options are not available to this user whereas you can see that this user can view all the configurations let's log in back as the administrator if you need to delete a user first disable it once it's disabled delete option is available if this user owns any resources an organization administrator can transfer its resources to itself at the time of deletion you can delete a group by simply choosing the group and clicking on delete users can also be exported to a csv file you can also delete a role that has been created by you as an organization administrator you cannot delete a role published by a service provider before deleting a role all the users of that role must be assigned to a different role after the assignment you can now delete the role this concludes this demonstration thank you for watching